Right, we're in the workshop with Tony. I'm just getting ready to start something. Okay. So what are we up to? Right, we're going to... Because the weather's a bit wefty this morning. A bit wefty, yeah. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to build a staircase. Could be something like that. Yeah. <laughs> with Tony. I'm just getting ready to start something. Okay. I borrowed one of your felt tip pens. Okay. I actually think it's probably one of your felt tip pens. Oh right, okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So what are we up to? Right, we're gonna because the weather's a bit wefty this morning. A bit wefty, yeah. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to build a staircase. Now, a staircase? Yes. You mean a, a very small staircase? Well, it, it doesn't matter if it's small or big. The, the, the process of coming to the measurements are exactly the same. Okay. okay it so can be a bit complicated, can't it? Well, it doesn't matter if it's, a, if, if it's six, 15 treads or 3 treads. The, the process of... Of finding out your angles is exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so essentially we've got a big triangle. Okay. Now we know the only two dimensions we know is here and here. Yeah, because you're going to make the other bit. So this is yeah. Uh, this is your your travel or your hypotenuse. If you want to okay. call it Okay, hang on, let your, me just film it over your shoulder, it's a bit easier to see. This is yeah. your base. Yeah. And this is your, um, what the they height. call the height, which if you want to get technical. So there's a landing point at the top there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the slopey bit will be the steps. This is your perpendicular. Yeah, and this is your travel, which is your, um, which if you want to get, this is your hypotenuse. Okay. That doesn't bother us. All so we're going back to maths here. Yeah, it's C, small b, big A, oh. and uh, small a. Oh, okay. Okay, so we know this, the total height we know by measuring up there, and the pan is 7.25 millimetres. Okay. And we also know that... Your treads are two five five wide. Yeah. But with a twenty mil nosing, which is what you put your feet. Hang on, let's get a bit closer there. You put your feet underneath so that the, the next tread overlaps the first tread. Yeah. Okay. There's going to be two three five. So you got twenty mil nosing. Okay. So. A tread. So you've already bought those. Already so bought you must them. have had an idea what sort of size we're looking at. It doesn't matter because it would determine this and this. Yeah, but for, if for instance that was um, higher, you'd need more than three steps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's only the height that matters. This, right. side, this way doesn't matter. There's a tolerance for the size of the steps, isn't yeah. there? Because yeah. they're, well, according to the UK, what are, they, are they European wide standards or? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and they're probably something similar in other okay. countries. So we've got three treads. Right. Like so. Okay. You've got three treads. Oh, okay, yeah. You've got three treads. One, two, three. But to get the calculation you times it by four so one two three four to get this angle yeah because this will be the floor that you're stepping off of here. that's it yeah and okay and then here. above that will be the landing and this is where our pan which is going to be a concrete pan is really going to attach to so that's the landing it's going to attach to 
here. Yeah. And this is going to be filled in with concrete and stone. And obviously, for safety reasons, these all have to be the same height, all these yeah, steps. Yeah, should trip up. Because that's, as anybody knows, if they've ever been on a staircase where the bottom step is lower or higher, sometimes, old-fashioned staircases, it's a bit dangerous. Okay, so our um, goings, as they call them. Goings, the yeah, that's the flat 30. bit, is it? Yeah. So we've got four. We've got 230 times four equals... So, our total... Our total goings is 9.20. Okay. But we don't know what this is. And we don't know what this is. So, but do we know what this is? Well, this 9.20 is, I've just written on there. Okay, so you've already pre-measured that. No, I've just done that. Okay. You can't pre-measure that because that... No, you... well, I thought you'd added it up from the width of your well, I steps. Have. That's what I'm saying. I'll put it up there, 9.20. Okay. <clears throat> so, to find out the travel, which is this... Yeah. You have to find out where the angle is. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay. So you You've got a little book, haven't you? I've got a little book. You, use, but you can, if you were technically minded, there's an app on your phone, apparently. Uh, but, but, there's an app for everything these days. But, but, but... I, 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 I'm a dinosaur, I'm a techno dinosaur, so I have to go the old-fashioned way, use logarithms. Okay, and you could probably also look up the logarithms online. Well, you probably could. But yeah. Tony likes the old-fashioned so, paper version. So... To find A, to find A, known data, we know C and we know B. Yeah. So, it would be tangent equals B over C. Okay. This is divided, obviously. So, yeah. B is, B is... 725 divided, divided by, by 920, 920 yeah equals and we've got point 0.788043 oh that's a long number yeah so point seven eight okay. and then do you multiply that by something else no no now, okay, you this, look on your table. Now you look at tangents here, and you look down the list to find this number, as near as. As near as. So we're looking at 7880, 7880, 78128, 75, Seven eight eight five, and the next one is too much. So we are. So it's got to be the nearest one under the measurement. Yeah. So seven eight five nine eight, and we go to seven nine, which is closest. So we are saying it is thirty eight degrees point two minutes. Ah, so this is to get this angle. Yeah. Thirty eight so degrees. Thirty eight point, point two. Two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, two minutes, really. You're talking fractions yeah. here. You're not talking about a lot. Okay. So we're going to go with 38 degrees. And then what do you do? Well, now we need to find this out to be able to mark your treads it. Okay. <clears throat> so. Can you not just measure it? Well, how can you measure it? You wouldn't have to measure. Well, you have, because you've measured the height. Yes. And you've measured it along there. So can't yes. you put your tape measure from that point up? Oh. So that point. Well, if you wanted to mark this out on the floor and then get your 38 degrees. Right, my camera stopped recording there for a moment. So, can you just go back a step? So, we've worked out the angle is 38.2 degrees. Yeah. And now we need to find it. Now, if you, if you could mark this out on the floor, get in the angle at 38 degrees, mark it on the floor, and physically measure it. Okay. But if you're talking about the staircase 15 treads, you yeah, only, that, you've only you'd got need big, a big floor space. You need a big floor space, and you'd have to be so accurate with this. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. But with only three steps, there's and you could be yeah. you could be twenty mil out by the time you you're point okay. two of the degree. Yeah, you, it'd be ridiculous. Okay. So to find a a equals b over sine of b. 
Right. So it B, sounds very complicated. B, B, divided you... by sine of B. Okay, so... Okay, so, so we don't know of, A. We don't... We know A. Oh, sorry, the big A. Yeah, that we know. That should be a big A, then. No, this is a small A. You so we don't know this. that. Right, okay, that's what I'm this. saying. So we don't know this A. No. Which is there. Yes. We do know the B. We know B, because it's our height. Yeah. And, and we know A. So how do you find sine of B? Well, you go to signs. Yeah, so there's another little chart in this table. It's another logarithm. This is called a Zeus book. This is a table of natural signs. Okay. So we look for 38.2 degrees yes. along here. 38.2, 38 38.2, 38.2 is 0.61795. Okay, so that goes here. Yep, 61795, 61795. So 0.61795. So B, which is 725. Which is 725. Oh, so we we'll do the calculator for this one. Divided by 0.61795 equals. So we've got, this is now is 1 metre 173 millimetres. Okay. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us now, if I get my stringer, Oh, what's a stringer? Well, it's the bits that go up the side of the stairs. Oh, okay. So that's made out of this flat material. It's made out of the flat bar, yeah. Okay. Now, that's the information we need. So. And that's this stuff. So, do you cut this? Uh, I will cut this eventually, but this is to drill holes to take the steps. Oh, so this just... Well, let's get the dry ground back a minute. So this strip will be down That's it. here. That's it, from the point down there. And so, in here, so we're only, we're only going to use... If you go, we've got 1173. Yeah. 1173, 1173. One one seven three divided by four equals two hundred ninety three millimeters per tread. So that's how high each two tread is. Nine three. No, that's how much the travel is between the tips. Okay, so that's that bit. Yes. So how do we know that bit? Well, you already know that bit. How? It's thirty eight point two degrees. No, this measurement here. Well, you already know that. What that is, that's, that's, that's 230 millimetres. Oh, I see, right. Okay. Oh, so, it's, no, it's this one that we're looking for then. No, we know that. <laughs> How that's do we know that? 725 divided by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, okay. So you've got all the measurements. Yeah. Right, I see. It is a little bit confusing. Maths lesson. <laughs> Right, now, we now put I did maths at school. Put our projector it's a long time since I've used it, but you've always used it, haven't you? Yes. Now, look, Tony's got a gadget. What's this gadget? It's a projector. A protractor? Yeah. Okay. That is. Tony's took it in the light so he can see it. Right. I've got another question for you. Got it. This is this is for the people that don't necessarily understand all this. So how do you know that that measurement is best to be four steps instead of three steps or five steps? Because because you have to get this is my pan that I've got a welding position on top of my platform. Yes. And you have to get to the top. Yes, I understand that. But what I'm saying is you could just have one big step. I'm um, your pardon. How do you know how many steps you need? Well, you measure the distance here. Yeah. And how do you, what, what's the tolerance for the size of the steps is what I I'm asking you. Well, well, ours comes to, I believe, ours comes to... Well, it uh, comes to 725 high. 725 divided by 4 equals 
uh, one meter, uh, one meter, 181 millimeters. Which is about six or seven inches. Why do you go back to inches? Because Americans use inches and I'm, I'm old school as well. I struggle to right, <laughs> always uh, use the millimeters. 100 mil is, is four inches. Yeah. I was going to say, it's about seven inches. About seven inches. Yeah. Okay. And your Which is a comfortable here, size. Yeah. You can't be more than 200 mil. Okay, that's what I'm that's asking regulations. you. regulations. So regulations is between what and what? Well, it don't matter. You can have... You, you can have small ones. You can have small risers if you like, but obviously if it's a small riser, then then your your, your goings will be longer. Yeah, so it'd be, it, it would be less of a slope, but longer. The, the, the yeah. nose would have to be longer because yeah. the nosing would have to because the okay. angle would be down like that. Yeah, your treads wouldn't reach. So obviously, if this is inside a house, you've only got a certain amount of floor space to fit your staircase in. Yes. Yeah. But but this, the height determines this. Yeah. Okay. And if you haven't got, if but you, for if, instance, if, if you, you had it, very short legs yes. and you had enough space on the end of here, yes, and you could only take small steps, then you could. Make an extra step. Yeah, of course you could. You, it's you can what's make, comfortable. You can make this as long as you like. If you're going up the yeah. size of a Montessori car park or anything yeah. like that, you can go up two inches. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But it would matter if you were going, if you were going up two yeah, inches. Yeah, you could only step up, up so up high. You'd be going like this. And, and that would be ridiculous. Yes, I know. Yes. And equally so, if it was a big step, you'd be... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be hard work. Okay. So, anyway. Right, after all that waffle, let's get on with what Tony's doing. So, this is your protractor. Yes. That's a posh protractor. I only ever used to have a little plastic one. Yes. So, <laughs> so you've set this here. to 38 degrees. Yeah. Okay. That... Is yeah, tread. that is your top tread. No, that's your bottom tread. Oh, I see. That's bit goes on the floor. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, here. Here. Now we also know yeah. that this being thirty-eight degrees, if you wanted to get this thirty-eight yeah. degrees there, you would have to add on ninety degrees to be yes. able to come down the other side of your tread. Okay. So, so 90 onto that, obviously, is... So 90 being a right angle? Yes. Yeah. So 90 onto that is 128. This is to make sure that your steps are level. 128 is there. Yeah. So you would be down there. And if we are right in our assumption... That assumption? Is, if you're right in what we're saying... Yeah. Hang on, how did you just do that line? Well, I added 90 degrees. Yeah, but I didn't actually see what you were doing there. Well, I added 90 degrees onto the 38 degrees. Yeah, but how did you know where to mark it? Well, I'm not. I'm not determined there yet. Oh, right, I'm okay, sorry. I thought so, you... if we are right, now that is the angle of your treads in the... Here, that would be round like. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh. Okay, cool. They're quite heavy, aren't they? Oh, goodness. Not as heavy as that concrete, though. That would be. Okay. There, and that's the angle of your treads. So, why is this longer? Because I haven't cut that down. So, okay. Now, is checking. Now, if you've got all your angles right, right. This, should be 90 degrees. And there you have it. Okay. I'm just checking, look. Quality control. Okay. Okay. So, to make our first tread. Oh, you just wiped it all off, right, okay. We make the best use of our uh, material. Yeah, because you don't want to waste any more than you have to. No. What's that you got there? Oh, that's your chalk. Tony uses this chalk to monk up his steel. So we've it's like a stone, isn't it, that? Uh, it's a file. No, this... 
Yes. What is it? What? Then what you use as a chalk? Oh, it's French chalk. Well, oh. Taylor's chalk. Oh, right, okay. That's there. That is the end of our tread, which is going to be here. So how do we know that? Because of the height? That is the end of our tread here. Yeah. That's the end of our first tread. And we are 38 degrees. All right, I'm trying to alter in this protractor again. By the end of this, you'll all be able to make a set of stairs. <laughs> Even me. Whether it's out of steel or wood or <laughs> concrete, let's hope not. 38 no. degrees. This is 38 degrees. From oh, here. okay. I'm confused now. That is 38 degrees there. And then this is our first height, which we know is um, 725, and we know our risers are. Where did I write it down? Uh, I'm not sure you did. Oh, yes, you did. It's yes, 181. Oh. oh, yes, on the calculator. So your risers are 181. 181 is. Okay. 181. So you're 10. measuring it from um, 10 centimetres. Yeah. Okay. So it's easier that to keep it flat. Okay. So then. Are there. And then that, if I had this long enough, which I don't. Oh. Okay. That there is the bottom. So you've got to cut that piece off? Yeah. Right, I'm with you now. That is the bottom of our So tree. which piece is going? This is... All of that? All ah, of that. okay. Ah, so th I'm thinking that this is going to be flat on the floor, but it's not. That this piece is flat, is flat, is flat, flat on, on the, the floor. floor. So this is the floor? Yes. Right. Ah, because I thought that was the floor. This right, is, no. This is C, if you like. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I get it now. Ah. Okay. I hope everyone else is not as confused as I am. <laughs> so you've got 11173 one, one, yeah. divided by 1234. Should be. That, which is 9, yeah. Would you measure? Uh, we already so, did that one, so yeah. 2293. Nine, two, nine, three. Nine, three. So 293 then. Oh, I see. From, from that point. From here. 293. This two, is your next nine, step, yeah? Three. Your next tread. Yeah. Right. Two by three. Yeah. Is there. I see, yes. Times by two. Equals. Five, eight, six. Always measure from here because you can get... Cumulative error. So if you, you measure this, what, the, error? the cumulative error. So if you if you measured this, if you mark this up two mil short, yeah, and you mark the next one up two mil short or whatever. By the time you get the end of the staircase, you could be a lot out. So you always measure from your first mark. Right. So you measure the first step, then you measure two steps, yeah, and then three steps, and so on. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Five, eight, six, and six, eight, six. So yeah. There's your three treads. One, two. Um, Hang on, one, we've got, have we got two, too many treads. Three. No, that's that's what you need. This. Yes, this, you this. need that. That's your top platform. That's right. Okay. So then, we, like the next tread's going to go past. So we are two. We are. That's your top platform. Yes. Well, I've got to get where to mark this down here. Oh, I see. So, so you. One, three, 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 and we are in here. So we are going to be here. That's where it's going to be. Yeah. And I should have gone like that, obviously. Okay. And that. So that should be a right angle, that bit, if it joined up. Yes, that's a right angle. Yeah. So this then, um, and then this will weld onto our plate, which will be in there. Oh, I see. So where 
Is this being cut then? Here. Oh, so it'll only weld on to that little piece. Yes. Okay. So this will be gone. Yes. Right, okay. But that's not the end of it. Right. Because because the bolts because the bolts are in from the top. Uh yeah, okay. And in from the nosing. Yeah. You've now got to calculate where to put your bolts. Can't you just stand it on there and draw a little hole in? <laughs> Sorry. How can you just put it on there and draw a little hole with your bit of chalk? Okay, no. right, sorry. Tan's going to make it far more complicated than no, I would. I'm just doing it the right way. You're doing it properly, it. yes, I know. Right. From the I top am joking. Down, they are 30 mil to the centre of hull. Right. 30 mil to the centre of hull. So. so, right, let me try and see if I get this right. So, this is where you, your tread, top of your tread is. Yes. So then you need to draw a 30 mil line along here. That's it, yes. And then work out that way to make then, a cross. And then 90 down from here. Yeah. And then from the front here. You measure it again. To here. Right, okay. So, yeah, so I need we need a 30 mil line along here. Yeah. To work out where the bolts go. Right. Right, okay. Yeah. It's a lot of maths, isn't it? Well, yes. <laughs> but then you use your maths all the time. I never, I did maths at school. And I was very this clever at maths. This is one of these points where the teacher says, and this is what you do, and the old kids look at the sand in the back and go, well, I never use that. Yeah. Which, in my case, is mostly true, although obviously I've done a lot of finances and stuff working with businesses over the years. Um, and calculating occupancy numbers and things. Like that. So I do use maths, but just not this type of maths. Just trigonometry. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously this is used a lot in building and manufacturing things. A lot of it's done by computer nowadays though, isn't it? Well, if you knew how to work one. Yeah. <laughs> it's good you've got a brain, isn't it? Because you're no good at computers. Yes. <laughs> so this is the line of our pulse. Okay. Right. So we do that on each step, yeah. Okay. It's all clever stuff. And then, but you're basically creating a flat pack staircase, aren't you? Yeah. Why isn't that right? Uh, 28 degrees, 28 degrees. 28 degrees. 28 yeah. Degrees. I must have done something wrong here. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but you're going to double check it all before you cut anything, aren't you? Yeah. But this is what you're doing, isn't it? You're creating flat pack metal staircase. Yeah. I mean, you've bought the treads ready made. Yeah. Although you could make treads yourself. Sometimes you get the pan ones, don't you? The same as you're going to use on the top platform. Yeah. Uh, when we say pan, it's like a like a shallow, like a shallow metal tray, isn't it? That yeah. you either fill up with cement or with stone or tiles or sort of an inside out one of those. Yeah, this way then. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Hope you haven't all gone to sleep watching this. <laughs> Check mine. Then is the nosing for all of our. That, that's where the tread ends. Yeah, okay. okay. Although they're not quite that shape, are they? You've got a little bit that sticks out over the edge here, haven't no, no, you? No, but that finishes there. Okay. So there won't be anywhere to put your toe underneath because this will be... Oh, yes, there will because this is on the side and there'll be a gap under there. Well, there's, the, there's the gap there. Yeah, but there's also a gap under here in the middle of yeah, the staircase is, where yeah. your foot is. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Okay, so it's a lot are. to take in, so... <laughs> so here's the edge of our tread and we are... 55mm in from the toe. Okay. 
here. So this is what you're calling the toe, this point? Yeah. So as I say, what's 58 mil? Yeah, sorry. 55 mil. It looks <gasps> like 54. I nearly made him do it wrong. Are they all exactly the same? 53 mil, that is. But you, but these ones back to front? Yeah. Look. Yes. Oh, we're measuring it from this bit, this bit. Not that end. No, it's from here. This is the front. This, this is the nose in. Yeah. Because it's see, it's got the it's got the non-slip there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm not really helping, am I? No. <laughs> 53 mil. Tony did want me to film this though. 50. I haven't just come along to annoy him. 53 mil. There. Been a while since you've made a staircase, hasn't it? Yes. You've made some very fancy ones, haven't you? Oh yes. Over the years. That's right. This is about as basic as it gets for you. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. So that is the first hole. Ah. Centers are. What size are they then? Um, twelve mil bolts, fourteen mil holes. All oh, right, with 12 mil bolts. Yeah. So yeah, so there won't be any welding of any cast on this. No. You can weld cast, can't you? But it's not you easy. You can't weld cast to mild steel. You can't weld cast to mild steel, okay. Unless you get a dissimilar rod, well, we haven't got any of those. Okay. And it's far easier to just bolt them. It is a hundred and... 117 mil. What centre to centre? Yeah. Ah, so this is the measurement Tony's looking for now. He's measured where his first one is. Now he's got to measure from the centre of this yeah, hole to the centre of the next one so that he knows exactly where to put his drill bit. There yeah. we are, so that's all marked up for even where to drill the holes. Now, if we want to double check this. Yeah. <laughs> you are going to do what I said, aren't you? I'm going to do it. You're going to lift it up and look through the hole yes, and see just to if. Make sure there's no obvious mistake here. All right, hang on, I can't film that. Right. And there we are. So does X mark the spot? It does. Okay. And that's where I tread up. So you probably could have just put a pencil through there, but no, you obviously... you could put a pencil through there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a piece of timber, obviously, is no. it? No. So... And that's it. Yeah. Um, I can what? You can go, go and make away. the tea. Oh, my God, my tea would be good, yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, well, what I'm going to do now then, you're going to make this right now, aren't you? We'll yeah. start it. Yes. Are you doing it all on this bench? Yes. So you won't be taking it away to drill it? No. Okay, well, I'll just set the camera up then so that you can carry on and you can explain things as you go along if you need to. Yes. Happy with that? I'm over the moon. <laughs> right, I'll go and make you a cup of tea then. It's really good. <laughs> over the moon. Okay. Okay. Cut this to size. And then drill this. When I've drilled it, I'll then weld it onto my other stringer, drill through this one onto the other one, mark it out and cut it out. So we've only got to mark out one of these, which is a blessing. So, okay. Okay, mark them up so that when I grind it, I don't lose my centre, my centre part, my centre point mark. <coughs> okay. Now it's going to cut this to size. Lose my line. Okay. 
think we've done the right here. I think we'll lose this. profile of the stairs. There she is. That's it. Around that way, you can see the holes are going to go for the treads. This welds on to the top platform, and this welds on to my bottom platform. I'm going to drill through these, then I'm going to place it on the other stringer, tack it on, or clamp it on, and then I can just drill through these holes, mark out where it's going, so I'm going to mark it out again. So, that's it. This is a, a rock approach with a big magnetic magnet, a big magnet electromagnet on the bottom. Pick up your hose, switch it on. But the transform for this. So knock it down to 110. <laughs> right. And it's a very old machine, so it wobbles a lot. Turn the magnet on. That's it. Quick as that, and that's a 14 mil hole in here. What this does is pops out the core, so any cuts around the outside of the hole. And leaves the core in very efficient. Yeah. 
We've got to put a slope on my platform up here so the rain runs away from the building. This one has got to be 10 mil shorter than this one. So, on this piece here. Yeah, on this piece here. So, I'm going to do that. 10 mil shorter. That's the inside. This is the longest one. 10 mil shorter. Slope comes this way. Yeah. 10 mil shorter there. Because of our slope on the platform. So this is my uh, this is my right hand side, and this is my left. No, that's the other way around. This is my left hand side, left, and this is my right hand side. <laughs> Good. And now we're going to drill through.
of our tread, so we are all in that way. Just temporarily putting this together, so I'm happy with it before I take it up to the platform and erect it. I've got some welding to do and things up there first. Sorry guys if it's been wobbling, but the camera is actually clamped onto Tony's bench. Just checking that it's all. That's just checking there. that it's all level. And that's good. That's got to come up slightly, but yeah, I'm happy with that. That's very good. Yeah. So this bottom corner here is sitting on flat. Yeah. And so that will here. be at the bottom of the steps. So then, what happens after this step here? Because this bit comes to a platform. Yes. On Indeed. this this top bit comes to a platform. So the last step is here. Yeah. yeah, obviously it's meant to be like a flat pack. So once Tony takes it up the top, he will assemble it up there. Yeah? That's it. That's the plan. Okay, so there's no welding on this part until you get to the top part up here. Yeah. The big metal pan on the, on the platform that these steps are taking you up to. That will be welded onto here. Yes, right. welded down to the bottom pan here. Oh, you will be welding it to the to the steel on the bottom, which is yes. why you've used steel to do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that didn't take you too long, did it? No. Are you actually going to assemble these up there today? Uh, no. My next task is to uh, is to extend. Because this was never fitted in, in the first place, right. I'm going to unbolt them angles here. Angles? Angles. I'm going to unbolt them angles there. Which angles? Oh, oh, the big bracket thing you mean. Yes. That's what he means by an angle. It's like that big corner bracket thing. Yes. Yeah, so that's Ex got to be moved. Extend, extend the web of this forwards. The web? Yes, that's the bit, that's the middle bit of the RSJ. Extend it oh, forward. Oh, okay, yeah. And then weld that back on and then coach bolt that into. Yeah, my... so that'll all be nice and solid then, won't yeah, it? Into yeah. that nice new piece you've put on there. Yeah. When, then, are, when are you doing your cementing? I'm doing that today, so. It'll still be able to breathe though, won't it? Oh, yeah. We're not covering it in concrete, just making a pad stone. Yes. Okay, all right, I'll come back and film when you've got a little bit further on. Are you making your shuttering now? Yes. Okay. I'm cooking. Tony's just telling himself, telling me that he caught himself a light while he was grinding, <laughs> which unfortunately is one of the um, hazards of your trade, isn't it? Well, I should have been wearing my leather jacket. But yeah, I you should have had your, your, your yellow jacket on but you don't very often do that do you no. okay because it's a bit chilly Tony's got his padded jacket on but yeah he's tried to set light to himself a few times and dropped hot things down your welding boots haven't you but yes. today he has actually got his proper safety shoes on so I'm pleased to report Tony does have some safety shoes on can I jump up and down on your foot you <laughs> look 
Anyway. Well, thanks for showing us that. But you are you are a bit lackadaisical, especially might, when you're working in your own workshop. I might be a bit cavalier. You are very but, cavalier. But uh, if I'm safe myself in my mind that I'm safe, then um, yeah, then there you are. Oh, you're now going to disassemble it. Yeah. Okay. So you've only assembled it so that all our viewers can see it. I just yeah. And okay. To be safe in my mind. That and to make sure that it's all working properly. Yeah. So you're going to paint this before you put it up as well? Well, so that the joints between the treads and the stringers are painted in between. Oh, so, so yeah, in. to help prevent rusting. These will rust, these won't. The cast won't rust? No. The, Why's the, that the, then? The, 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 they're surfaced rust very, very slightly. Yeah. But these have been heated up and blued in oil. So, so what do you mean blued? Well, you, you put them in oil. Baked. Not baked, so they, but they're hot, they're hot when they come out of the mould anyway. And they're yes. Just, they're just blued with a bit of oil. Okay. So they're partly rust proofed. Yes. No, okay. We, we, we but the mild still will rust. Oh, yes. That will be. So what are you going to paint it with? That black jack stuff you black call jack. that? That's it. Which is, is basically made of what? Uh, uh, there's a byproduct of crude oil, yes. Oh, okay. But it helps to prevent it rusting? Yes. How does it do that? Well, it's the surface between between the uh, between the oxygen and the, so and the metal. It's, it's like a waterproof surface, is it? Yeah. Okay. So obviously you can't get every little nook and cranny when you're bolting things up, but you'll no. do your best, won't you? It's called maintenance. It's called maintenance. Yeah, every once in a while you have to come along and paint it. Yeah. 